Hello friends, may God greatly bless you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, we come to you with your program Stop Suffering. And I would like to share right away with you a verse. Because when we believe in the Word of God, we seek for the fulfillment of those words in our life. God does not fail on His promises. God does not fail on His promises. And He has made such a great promise for you. Kandi ya koze ama sezerano akome na yungayo kubgao. I'm talking to you who don't sleep at night. Dimo kufuga na utawasha kusinzira ni joro. You who right now, you're crying. Uungu uu urimo kurira. You have pain in your soul. Ufite uburibge mungu wabgao. You spend this day thinking how will you end your life. Umara umusi wose utekeleza gusoza cha gushira kuhereza ubuzima bwa. You have come to the understand that no one cares about you. U kaswa mchirugwa neza ko hamu nunume ukuitayo. If you look for help, you don't find. Iyo ushati shijubu fasha. You look for a solution to your problems you don't find. And even those whom you trust the most are the ones who disappoint you. So you begin to have this wrong idea that the solution is to end with your life. You already got very deep into this addiction. Trying to forget your pain. Trying to take it out at least for a few moments. It doesn't work. But hear what God has for you. Look at this Bible verse. These words of Jesus Christ. Which are written in the book of John. Chapter 10 verse 10. You're going to see this verse there on your screen. Look. It reads. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. That is what evil wants to do in your life. Perhaps you have lost your peace. You lost your family. You lost your dignity. You are losing yourself. Day after day you are losing. But it is not the end. The opposite right now is the beginning. For Jesus said the following. I have come. That they may have life. Life. And that they may have it more abundantly. What is an abundant life? Is where you have peace. Where you have health. Where you have joy. Where you have your family together. You have peace in your soul. 
You don't need to lock yourself in the room to cry the whole day and the whole night. But you know God is there with you to give you peace. I want to pray with you today. And we are going to ask the Lord to bring you peace. Before we say this prayer, know that we are going to have this Sunday now, the fifth Sunday of the powerful novena for healing and miracle. When you come to the novena, you can expect the impossible. Because this is for healing and for miracles. You will be a total of nine Sundays. This Sunday now will be exactly at the middle of our Novena. The fifth Sunday. Do you want a solution to your life? Do you want an answer that only God can give? Give him a chance. And he will bless you. Listen. I want you to pray with me. Do you have a glass of water? Please get a glass of water then now. Or a bottle of water. You choose. We are going to talk to God. You may be sick. You may be in tears. You may have pain in your body or in your soul. The God of the Bible. The God who made the promises. He will touch on you. He will make a change in your life. And you may ask, when will it happen? Right now. Right after this, we are, we are going to come back praying with you. Just make sure you have a glass of water there if possible. We're going to talk to God now. My Lord and God, right now, we have people who are desperate, who have knocked many doors, they have gone everywhere possible to find a solution. Look at this woman, how she cries. Look at the pain this man is carrying on his shoulder. This family, my Lord, whom they love one another so much. But they can't understand why they fight so much. When they are close, they fight. When they are far, they miss one another. And it is tormenting this person. This man, my Lord, got involved with addiction. 
He doesn't like this situation, but he doesn't find the strength to come out. I pray that you visit this home, visit wherever our voice reaches right now. Your word says if you two more gather in your name, you be among them. Well, we, are, we are so much more than two. So my father, let your name be glorified in this place. Empty in this house where there is no peace. Where people don't sleep at night. Where they are tormented by curses. In the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke right now the suffering in this family. The curse upon the life of this person. The sickness and diseases. All sadness. Spirit of depression. We rebuke it now. And I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of this life. Leave this person. Lord, let this water receive of your power. I stretch out my hands. And I determine the name of Jesus Christ. This water receives of your power now. The moment they drink, they receive a refreshment in their soul. Your power will touch them. To set them free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Drink of your water now. Go ahead. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. See yourself, you're free. Do something you couldn't do before. Have his strength in you. Because God has blessed you. Now I want you to look at the photo of our church. Because this coming Sunday, there is a miracle waiting for you. Are you tired of suffering? You are going to bring your problems. Your frustrations. Your pain. And you are going to present them all to God. Over. You are not alone. We are together in one faith. To overcome this challenge. If the words that are written here is true. And we know it is true. You are going to Then you ask what do I do? Just come. That's all. We start our prayer at 10 a.m. sharp. So you should arrive at least 15 minutes before. For you not to miss the blessing of the novena. This Sunday now. There is an opportunity, an open door for a transformation in your life. May God be with you all. For more information, please call the number on your screen. If you don't have, take a screenshot then now, or rather, take a photo now. And Call them a little. We will be there to assist you. May God bless you all. Bye bye.